Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first three commandments, and now it's time to tackle the fourth, honoring your father and mother. We've talked about how God governs people by setting certain individuals in authority over others, and now it's time to talk about the family. Most people know what a family is, at least on some level. However, it's been thrown into a few brick walls lately, so here's the definition from the actual catechism. A man and a woman, united in marriage, together with their children, form a family. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2202, first sentence. There are many reasons why this understanding of the family is impossible to overturn or tamper with, but the primary reason is that families, by this definition, predate any other form of society, and in fact, other societies only exist as large groups of families. A few hundred families make a town, a few hundred thousand makes a state, a few million makes a nation. Families make up every other form of society in which people live, and the health of the society depends entirely on the health of its families. The majority of people start out being raised either by their real mother and or father, or by someone who they treat as a mother-slash-father figure. That's just how important this is. Even if we had no parents, we would still look for someone to replace them in others. It's part of how we're made. We instinctively know that someone should be there to teach us and take care of us as kids. In fact, this is one of the most important rights that children have after life and integrity. Children have a right to be raised by two married parents, a mother and a father. However, as with all rights, this comes with some obligations, and for the child, those obligations are in the way they treat their parents. Because the parent's job is to teach the child how to grow into a mature, responsible, holy person, the child is obligated to respect, honor, and obey their parents. After all, if we're not willing to take important life lessons from our human parents, what makes us think we'll be willing to take them from God? This is the nature of parental authority. Everyone should show respect for their mother and father and obey them within reason. These are the two obligations that this commandment imposes on children. Respect for those who God has placed in parental authority over us and obedience to them. Still, respect? Obedience? What do those words mean when we're talking about parents? How do they work when you have really good parents? How do they work if your parents are really evil? I want to get into this more, but I'll have to save it for next time. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.